Hebrew Public is providing the Ravinska family the help they need to build a life here as the Russian invasion continues. It was uh, complicated for us because no, nobody wanted to rent us an apartment because we are Ukrainians, because we are refugees, because we have three kids. We, have three kids. we still have ambitions uh, to um, to live a normal, good life and to make everything uh, we can for our kids and then also for Ukraine. Rebecca Greenberg's been covering the story and, and joins us now with more. Uh, how many families is this group helping? So there's 11 families currently being helped by Hebrew Public, and then they have their Hebrew Language Academy in Mill Basin. Um, but they also said that they have more than 30 applications waiting right now, so obviously it's gaining in popularity. It, it sort of has to be a one-family-at-a-time solution that we, we find this circumstance will work for this family, some, yeah. some other situation might work for another family. Yeah, definitely. And specifically with this family, they really have... Uh, they have a unique situation because actually a lot of the families that are fleeing Ukraine are usually just a mother because a lot mm. of the fathers are fighting mm -hmm. in the war. So they have to find twice as many jobs. They need to find larger accommodations with three young children ranging in ages from two to seven years old. This is a fascinating story because Anastasia, uh, who you saw briefly in that clip there, she was a, a top television news host mm -hmm. in Ukraine. Yes, she kind of equated it to Good Morning America sort of news program. And uh, yeah, there she is right now. I mean, you can see she really loved her job. That was one thing that we talked about, obviously having that in common, the, the broadcast journalism uh, career in common. She was talking about how much she loved it and how hard it was for her to leave a job that she cared about. L literally just left it behind, never coming back probably. It has to be so jarring to leave your career, the place that you live and love, and at the same time you're trying to protect these small children from everything going mm -hmm. on around them. Definitely, and that was one of the things that I spoke to her about. You know, there are people who she works with who stayed, who are reporting on what's happening in Ukraine, and she was presented with this opportunity. At first they went to Greece, then they went to Italy and stayed with friends, but they really thought they were only going to be away for two, maybe three weeks. Are, and, they, yeah. are they making the assumption that this is going to be where they stay or is this a temporary plan and then they'll get back? That's a great question. I, I think they kind of volley back and forth <laughs> pretty often. You know, they want to focus right now on just building this life here in New York. They know that there are good opportunities for them here. And they also say that they find comfort being surrounded by so many other people who did escape war-torn areas and other refugees. Rebecca, thank you.